I think, I think, I think Aberdeenshire farmers will be uh, taking that with a very large pinch of salt. Well, hello there, and I do hope you're all well, and let's watch these three superb Zinger Brexit news report stats that really expose Tory politics from SNP spokesperson Richard Thompson, where he gets right under the skin of Conservative Parliamentary Under Secretary of State for Exports, Andrew Bauer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Mr Speaker. The New Zealand trade deal will mean an expected £150 million hit to the agriculture and food-related industries each year. An impact analysis shows that the Australian trade deal will mean an expected £94 million hit million pound hit to farming and a two hundred and twenty five million pound hit to food processing each year. On top of that, UK ex- food and drink exports to the EU have already fallen, despite what the Minister says, by more than one point three billion because of the Brexit deal that this government signed. Yeah, yeah. Given all of that mounting charge sheet, how can farmers and food producers in this country ever trust a word that the Tories say ever yeah, again? Yeah, yeah. We'll take no le- lectures from the SNP in supporting yeah, Scottish farmers yeah. or food producers. It's not, it's, not the UK go- it's not the UK government that is accused of operating in an information void due to the lack of information and slow progress of Scotland's post-Brexit agriculture bill. It's not, it's not the UK government that was criticised by the NFUS for not voting for the Genetic Technology Bill a couple of weeks ago. This government is committed to supporting Scottish and indeed British food producers and exporters around this country not creating division and stoking negativity, which is all that the SNP ever brings to the table. Yeah. Richard Thompson! Oh. I, think, I, think, I think Aberdeenshire farmers will be uh, taking that with a very large pinch of salt. Uh, yeah, yeah. But the Secretary of State says, that, and I quote, that she is a, a huge believer in British farming and the role it plays in our national life. And the new International Trade Secretary wrote an article just a few years ago of her fears that the, the impact of opening up our markets will have on domestic producers oh. such as farmers. In light of all of that, just how long, seriously, does the Minister think it will be before he and his colleagues are triggering the mechanism to bring to an end these disastrous trade deals with Australia and New Zealand? Yeah. The trade deals with New Zealand and Australia are great deals for British exporters, great deals for this country, and as I said, unlike the Scottish National Party, we are committed to championing Scottish and British exports and food and drink around the world and not creating the negativity. It's time you stood up and championed the great British exporters, the great Aberdeenshire exporters, instead of scaremongering uh, and coming in here with all this negativity, which he, fail- which he does on a weekly basis. Yeah, so yes, so ignore the fact that these crappy trade deals with Australia and New Zealand are bad for exporters, Richard Thompson. You should stop talking the country down and you just need to believe more. Well, that just seems to be the politics of this extreme Brexit Tory government nowadays, isn't it? Well, what else can they do? (laughs) Whenever anybody brings the facts to the table, to them they're just Ramona snowflakes who just simply don't get it. Well, I don't get it either, but... What do you guys think? Let me know down below and have a very prosperous new year and take care, my friends.